Hi, welcome to my channel from Cheap to Chic. My name is Sharon. Thanks for coming to watch this video. I really appreciate you taking your time to do so. Today is the monthly napkin swap hosted by Sarah from Sunflowers and DIYing. And her co-host this month is DIY Craftaholic. This is a Christmas theme. This month I received my napkins from CN from Z9 Creations. It'll be my first Christmas craft this year. Reader card here. Oh, how pretty is this? Warm holiday wishes. Oh, this is so pretty. Hi Sharon, hope you enjoy the napkins I sent. Bring some joy into someone's life by making some beautiful DIYs. Hugs, Z9 designs. Oh, this card is so pretty. And she made this card. I thought she did. Look how beautiful that is. Oh wow, that's so pretty. I love it. Thank you so much. First Christmas card. <laughs> okay. Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh, that is very pretty. Thank you, Sin. Oh, she sent some little wooden things here. It's a little wooden tree stump. Looks like a rub on transfer. Thank you. A popsicle stick to rub the transfer. A mason jar. And a wooden apple. Those are too cute. Thank you so much for those. Oh, how cute is that? I'm not sure what that is. If that's a metal or. Yeah. Like a tin. That's different. Thank you, Sin. Thank you so much for that. It's so cute. Oh, looky here. Pretty napkins. All right. Let's see what we have to work with here. We have some snowmen. So cute. Some plain green. Some plain pink. Some trees. Mary and Bright. Oh, how cute is this? Believe. Some other green and Santa. Okay, I will be back after I think about this and see what we're gonna do. Be right back. Okay, so I do not have all of my Christmas stuff out. I know some of you ladies are on top of it. I myself am not. Okay, so. I went through some of the Christmas stuff that I do have out to try to figure out what I was going to do here. Sarah, I'm so sorry. I've only got just a couple little projects to do. I wanted to join in this month. So this is what I've come up with, with my napkins. We're going to take this. Mm, I got this last year from the Dollar Tree. Okay. I want to reuse this. Try to save this if we can. Okay, then I'm gonna take this Christmas tree. I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to go over this with the Mod Podge. So 
I hope everybody had a terrific uh, Thanksgiving if you celebrate Thanksgiving. I know a lot of us do and a lot of us were super busy this month and then this month we know is going to be very very busy. I went shopping yesterday found some pretty good deals. I hope if anybody did go shopping yesterday you found some good deals as well going to start decorating for Christmas today yes 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 I'm doing these crafts the day of uh, <laughs> that there's this video has to be uploaded I have not had time to get to this and I did not want to let Sarah down as I said so I am trying to get this done uh, I appreciate uh, y'all keeping that in mind as you watch this video because and I, I have not gotten all my craft stuff out I, I wish I was a little bit more prepared for everything but that's the way my life goes okay so while we're waiting on those to dry I'm gonna take this um, I got these from the Dollar Tree as well going to use a snow white in apple barrel paint Okay, and I don't care that it's not like snow, snow white. That's fine with me. Hey, okay, I think we're dry here. I'm using my Cricut mini heat press. That does not take very long to heat up. I have to excuse my hands. I don't know about y'all, but my hands was in so much water for the last couple of days. Then the amount of lotion doesn't matter. Okay. So we all know, well, maybe you don't know uh, when you use napkins. For decoupage, you always peel away the other layers. You just want the one single layer left. And I still have a hard time peeling these napkins apart. And I am just gonna go over this real quick to get the wrinkles out. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. So if you try this, you need to make sure that you get this off. I didn't think he was going to be able to see that through there, but that's okay. No, that's going to drive me crazy. All right, so I'm going to have to go on this side, but that's okay because I can just cover the back with something. Okay, we'll wait for that to dry. Sorry about that, y'all. I did not realize you could see that through there. I should have, should have realized. So let's go ahead and do this while that's drying. All right, so I've got the puffy red paint from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna go over the hat in red.
and that's why I'm using puffy paint. I wanted to have that type of uh, texture to it, just, you know, not flat. Looks like our tree is finished drying, so we'll go ahead and do that. I have no clue how this is going to turn out, guys. I'm just trying to wing this. My, uh, um, what do you call it? A creative block? I've had, like, a <laughs> creative block. I think it was too much of everything this last week. I should have had this done a while back. I just haven't had time to do any crafting. I haven't even been in the craft room. For a while so. so once you take your heat whatever heat tool you're going to use you just iron this down and then the heat will activate your Mod Podge Take my scissors, get the bulk of the excess napkin off. This is uh, Gold Ranger Liquid Pearls. And then these snowflakes, I'm just going to take these uh, stickles. This is like a glitter glue. Take the sandpaper and get the edges off of the Christmas tree. Okay, so now we're going to do the bulb. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're just gonna get the edges off of here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this back on there. I'm gonna go around the edges of this with a little bit of memento. This is hot cocoa ink, just to give it a little bit of a, an aged look, maybe, I guess. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this. I gotta be careful that's still a little wet there. I'm gonna go, even though that's wet, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. this little pom pom right there so there we have this one well, it's okay okay <laughs> so we'll put that to the side for now and I'm going to do the same thing with this before I do anything else to this Gonna go around the edges. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this antique wax and go over this little. Merry Christmas sign, just lightly. And then I'm going to take this raffia that came from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and so these are called dew drops. I'm sure you are familiar with these. These, all of these dew drops came from my friend. Her channel name is uh, Double Click Connect, and she dot hand dyes these herself. And she 
uh, sells these uh, in her Etsy shop or um, you can get with her here on YouTube. I will link her channel in my description. You can get with her to order some of these beautiful little gems. I think they are so pretty. You can use these for so much. And so this needs just a little pop of collar. So I'm going to add these. Dew drops. Okay, there it is. Not perfect, but cute, <laughs> I think. And then, not perfect, but cute. Cute, cute. I would like to thank Sarah from Sunflowers and DIYing for hosting this napkin swap every month. And I would like to thank Christine from DIY Craftaholic for co-hosting. Okay, here is the final project. I hope you guys will go and check out the playlist there are some amazing crafters in here and i am so sure they came up with some amazing christmas projects i appreciate you all taking your time to watch this video i hope you enjoy it i hope you guys have a great great week thank you so much